And we're not going to play this little war game because you, you're you putting words in my mouth. Do you understand me? No, I don't know who it is. I'm a human being just like you. I'm not going to say something for you. I know. I, you are. I'm not like you will not be participating until because you don't know how to behave yourself. So you think you're doing anything. Hi, Ms. Miller. Good morning. I have you checked in. Good morning, Ms. Taylor. Good morning, Tanja. Morning, Judge. Morning, Judge. Okay. And the individual with the Samsung phone? With the black sweatshirt, can you please tell me your name? Uh, good morning, ma'am. My name is David William Brownlee. That's what I thought you were, Mr. Brownlee. Hmm. And you're home? Um, I am, yes, ma'am. I'm close to Bob. Why are you on Zoom? Uh, my paperwork for my um my bond said to do this appointment over zoom if you were in person or if you were still in custody sir you need to make your way into the courtroom into the courthouse i why i don't have that capability at the moment my my bond agent told me to report for zoom for this morning for court can you bring the brownie file please In the prosecutor's office. Okay, I need to. I need to. Yeah, it's a pretrial. I have enough for the story. So, uh, well, maybe. The Zoom ID, sir, was in the event you were in custody. If you were not in custody, you were to appear in person. If I'm posted bond, does that does that mean I'm not out in custody? Well, sir, you're out of the Wayne County Jail, correct? Correct. But I just don't understand uh, why why my bond agent had told me. To... I'm sorry. I just don't understand then why my body uh, my bond company told me to report uh, over Zoom for this meeting. I don't know why your bond your bond. So you had a you had a. Um... A bail bondsman, post your bond? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I don't know why they told you that. So, because it shows, and I'll show you, it does show on Zoom, but that was an event you were in custody, sir. So you need to make your way here into court. I, I don't think I would make, I'm in a motel in Romulus, Michigan, and near the airport. I don't think I would make it in time by walking, with all due respect. Well, sir, then you need to find a ride. Ma'am, could you make any condolences and, and accept the fact that I am here for court today for my Zoom meeting? And I this is my only method for court today. Sir, you can contact an Uber, you can ask somebody for a ride, something I of that nature. I don't, I don't have that money at the moment. I am I am I'm I'm indigent, really. Sir, your court date is in person today. There's nothing more I could do, except well, you can do start, it. You can start making your way to court. I'm, I'm telling you, the amount of distance that it would take me to walk there, I wouldn't even be able to make there to, until eight, like seven or eight p.m. I'm over. I'm over 20, 20 miles away. Probably this is not twenty miles away, sir. You're not twenty miles away. Ma'am, I, I do not wish to argue with you. I am about 20 miles away over on Merriman and Middle Belt. Well, those two streets run the same way, sir. I'm at the Wyndham Gardens Hotel on Merriman. That is where I'm at. That's where I'm located. And that is where I have, I have no other option but to do this meeting via Zoom. I don't have any family members or friends that can help me out today. I was instructed to do this court date today at this time on Zoom. And I am here presenting myself in a reasonable manner. Can we please proceed? You are 14 miles away, sir. 
not 20. So the court's instructions were in person. Unless you're in custody, it's in person. Can't take a cab, you can't take a bus, nothing. I have no money whatsoever at all. None. How are you paying for your hotel stay, sir? My family had paid for a week's stay for me, and they're paying week to week. I haven't even eaten in three days. I've bar been barely surviving, but I had to make sure that this appointment was done, and I showed up to the best of my ability, and here I am here. I'm, I'm even borrowing a phone from a stranger to operate this court date right now. Okay, sir. Stranger has allowed you to take their phone into a hotel room. Uh, you can't you can't get somebody to drop you off to court. No, ma'am. I don't I can't my I my only parent, my only family are my mom and my dad, and they're in their eighties, and my mother's in the hospital, and I can't get a hold of my father. My only other social support team are currently incarcerated, Your Honor. I'm just doing my best to survive and get through this. And and like I said, I was I was told by Bail My Tail Services, which is the bonding agency that I went through, that I am to report for court today over Zoom and they gave me the Zoom ID and the time to be here and present. And I am currently present. So your family members pay for you to stay at the hotel, but they won't pay for your ride to court. They gave me the basic necessities. Yes, I'm very lucky to have that. Okay, at 83 years old, a uh, United States Marine and his dying wife. Yes, I'm very fortunate to at least have that temporarily, and that was as best as I could do. Yes. I've already called my dad twice today. If you'd like, I can show for a reverse of the the, uh, the the camera somehow or take a screenshot and show you proof that I have made uh, made attempts to call my father this morning where I was not able to, to get a hold of him. And so the stranger's phone that you're supposedly using, you just, that person just let you bring their phone right out into your room. The, cor the, the clerk for the, for the motel is a very nice lady who, who, who I have to see every day. I explained to her my situation, and I said that I'm, you know, I'm going to be in the room for about 45 minutes to an hour. I asked her, uh, you know, if 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 I could at some point give her money for for it, and she said that's not necessary. She goes, just handle your business and just bring it right back when you're done. Sir. Try contacting one of your family members to see if they'll order you an Uber to make your I way already, to court. I already have, and they don't have the money. They didn't even have the money to give me a five dollar hot and ready last night when I asked them. I'm not, and I, I, this is really, I, this, this is really unfair of you, because I'm, I'm being, I'm, I'm, I'm being what as, as, as professional, and, 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 and respectful as possible in this manner. I, I, I'm telling you, I can't squeeze water from a rock. I'm here for court. I'm doing everything I said that I was going to be doing. Did you say that that's not fair of the court to require you to no. be in person? No, no, it's not fair of you and of this court to be harassing me to this level when I've explained my indigence. I'm showing up for court. I'm being as respectful as possible and answering all of your questions where you're countering me at every turn. I, and I'm not doing anything wrong. but being present for this pretrial operation so that I can try to move forward through this case. I have no other means there. So let me clarify something for you. Your thought process that this is not fair of myself to require you to be in person is flawed because this court has absolutely every right to require your presence to be in person. And I, and that, respect, and I respect that, but when... Me. But when Please I'm under supervision from a bonding service Please and they tell me I'm supposed me. to be here over Zoom and I, I have everything set up that me. way. I said, please don't interrupt me. So I'll just mute you. How about that? I, I ordered you to be in person. So 
So for you to stick, I, I, I don't know what you're saying, sir, because I'm talking and you're trying to talk over me. So as I, if you, I don't know who you're claiming that you spoke to because you said your mom's in the hospital and your dad didn't answer. So I don't know who you tried getting a ride from. Perhaps a nice clerk lady can find a ride for you. You might want to make another couple phone calls, sir, to see about um, getting a ride and on into court. Mr. Brownlee, just so you're aware, you're muted. So I am just seeing your lips moving and I'm not hearing anything you're saying. And I'm not going to hear anything you're saying because I'm I not understand. going to handle another matter. I understand. I understand. You're, you're, just kind of, you're doing everything. I'm going excuse me. Don't interrupt me. I'm handling another matter. You can contact somebody to try for another ride. I'm not going to say this again, Your Honor. I have nobody else to call. Sir, if, you, if, 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 if this is your wish to bully me to 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 try to in your in, in your legal method to hold me up or or anything along those lines or use your court authority uh but you know to to just do whatever it is that you're doing in this moment other than handling my business with me and understanding and respecting the fact that my bond agency instructed me to be at this meeting over zoom today at this time which i am to the best of my ability and explaining my indigence in the manner, you know, for, for what you're asking, is impossible. Literally, Sir, you're telling me, court that you're currently in a hotel room. Yes, ma'am. I'm at the Wyndham Gardens Hotel on Merriman. Well, where I pay. Well, well, behind you, it does not look like it's a hotel room. I have ever all of my possessions from my house here because I can't even go to my house i literally brought had my family bring all of my possessions here i and i'm planning on doing a month stay at this place this is my current home this is where i'm trying to feel comfortable and get my life together during this process i understand that i you, you said that i'm to report in person but yeah. your last court date, you did not specify anything along the lines on that transcript. I am I'm aware of that just as much as you are. And when I'm following my oh, order God, directed sir. to the bonds agency and they've instructed me to be here over Zoom and I have that paperwork, then 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 clearly there's some sort of issue and discrepancy in between the, the bonding agency and the court. So even, be very clear. even, 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 stop, 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 stop right now. Stop right now. Let me be very clear. The bond agency's statement to you does not overrule this court's order. Let me be very clear on that. And there's no bullying going on. This court has ordered you to be in person. The Zoom ID was in the event that you were in custody. That Zoom ID was for the purposes of the Wayne County Jail. If your bond agent told you something different, I don't know what to tell you, sir, but to say that your bond agent um, ordered you one thing uh, that overrules this court's order, you are mistaken. So I know that you've said that you've contacted other people, but then you've also said that you only have your mom and your dad. You also said that your mom's in the hospital and your dad hasn't responded. So I don't know who it is you're claiming. I never that said that I contacted other, I never said I contacted other people. Don't I never, me. I never once, and don't. And that, sir, is why I'm not the going to lie. The only to people I have are my mother no, and father. Hey, we're not going to play this little war game because you, you're putting words in my mouth. Do you understand me? Yes, that's why you will not be. First of all, I don't know who it is you think you're speaking to. No, I don't know Second who it is you think. I'm a human I, being just like you. you. I'm not a person just like you. No. I know. I you're, you are. Like you will not be participating on Zoom because you don't know how to behave yourself. So he's being removed, and if he doesn't show up, then we're issuing a warrant. So, all right, who's first? 
So they wind up receiving probably two, three, two, four, six, five, A and B. And Mr. Goldbaugh? Thank you, Your Honor. John Goldbaugh, D30758, on behalf of Mr. Brownlee. All right, thank you. And Mr. Brownlee, your name for the record, please. Good afternoon. My name is David Glenn Brownlee. Okay, and so today is the date that we have Mr. Brownlee before the court. The court is going to make a record that on December 12th, defendant zoomed in. Actually, on November 30th, Mr. Brownlee was arraigned. This court issued a $15,000, 10% bond, and uh, there is a surety bond posted, and um, it showed a Zoom ID. So Mr. Brownlee zoomed in from what he claimed was a hotel room at the Wyndham Garden in Romulus. This court advised Mr. Brownlee he was to appear in person, and this court um ordered Mr. Brownlee to appear in person. And the court, as of 4.30 p.m., defendant had not appeared. And due to Mr. Brownlee's criminal history, as well as his danger to the community, the court issued a warrant immediately. The case had not been called on the record. And counsel? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, in fact, if the court may recall, I was present in court uh, on other matters that afternoon. I've spoken to Mr. Brownlee. Uh, I see that a uh, warrant was issued and the bond was set at 25,010%. Uh, uh, and he was picked up, I guess, uh, by the Brownstown or some other police department. Your Honor, I've spoken to Mr. Brownlee it indicates obviously that this was a uh, problem that he created. However, there, those, those problems were, and it was not an attempt to affront the court. We're asking that the original uh, bond of ten percent, uh, the original bond of fifteen thousand ten percent, be or the bond be reinstated, and he be allowed to uh, appear at another pretrial. Of course, this would be in person. Is that correct, Mr. Brownlee? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Well, Mr. Goldpaw, what you may or may not be aware of is um, Mr. Brownlee has a matter in the 25th District Court to which um, Judge Clifton had to recuse himself. The whole court was disqualified because of the um, the named victim, um, that there was a conflict with the named victim. So that matter got reassigned to this court. So the very next day after December 12th, this court sat at the 25th District Court for Mr. Brownlee's case there. That was in person, never a question as whether that was a Zoom or not, and he didn't show up for that one either. And so I had to sit for a case in Southgate today, and then Mr. Brownlee appeared on um, Zoom over there for an arraignment on his matter from the 25th District Court because Mr. Holmberg was already over there as the MIDC attorney. Now, Mr. Brownlee, where was it that you um, were at on December 20th when you zoomed in. When I zoomed in for program, I was at the Wyndham Gardens Hotel Your in Honor, the Romulus, Mr. Michigan. Honor, on Your Honor, Mr. Brownlee, Your Honor, did you say the 20th or did you mean the 12th? I'm sorry, the 12th. The 12th. Thank you. And and that was and that was my last day at that hotel. Uh, after that, I was homeless for two days, and then finally I was able to reach out to my family and just beg them for help. Okay, sir, let me be very clear to you. Let me, no, no, let me be very clear. Mm -hmm. You may think I might be um, naive, an idiot, I don't know. But I'm very well aware that the Wyndham Garden does not have ceiling fans. Nor do they have dark brown ceiling fans. Nor do they have anything that that is on the walls as such that you had on the walls in your background on that day. So let's be real. And where were you, sir? I'm being honest with you. I don't know why you're making me or trying to make me think that I 
want you to think that you're naive or anything along those lines. I think of nothing but respect for you. And I'm being honest. To be completely fair with you today, I honestly wanted, wanted just to retract my not guilty plea, have a one-on-one -on -one negotiation with you just so we can get to a global resolution in this case. And then that way, you know what I'm saying, it makes the court's life and my life easier for, us, for me to move on and try to become a better person when I get out of jail. Knowing that I have another court uh, case pending that does and you know, will have restitution enabled, I understand that you don't like sentencing without an updated PSI, although I wish for you to understand that if you would be willing to just accept my guilty plea for the driving while license suspended, loitering, and for the paraphernalia, I'm not asking anything from you except for just for you to impose your disposition so that we can get this case cleared. It's leaving, leaving just the last to go. So let me be very clear. Perhaps to your surprise, perhaps not, I don't know, but I contacted the Wyndham Garden Hotel because I wanted to confirm if in fact you were there. They would not confirm if you were there or not, but then I went one step further and asked if any of the rooms have ceiling fans. And the lady laughed at me and said, absolutely not. So you were not there. You were not in the Wyndham Garden in Romulus. So where were you? You want this court to believe you for credibility purposes on the assessing bond. Where were you? I was at that building. There's two sets of, 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 of hotels within the same parking structure. They just bought out the new one. I had gotten a week's stay, and the one over the while they were renovating that's half done, that's the one I got. And I got a good rate on it for only $250 a month or $250 a week. I'm telling you, I'm not lying to you. My grandfather the first started $250 for the week at the Wyndham Garden. Yes, when normally we were paying three twenty-five, and that was the and that was the best rate we were getting on on Priceline.com. I'm telling you that I'm not lying to you. I have no reason to lie and specify a certain place that I wasn't at. I'm being honest with you. I'm 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 one hundred with you. And, and at the end of the day, like I said, I'm not trying to avert anything more with you. I, I really honestly wish you you could uh, allow me to, you know, uh, accept my guilty plea today so that we can just get the sun over with. I, I, I am clean. I'm not doing any drugs. I want to get my life in order. I want to eventually get out of the situation so I go back to work, try to help help the girls pay the property taxes so we can at least get back into the home somehow. I mean, it's it's... I got to do something responsible. To me, just accepting guilt and taking accountability today to you, that's the best I could do. Would you be willing to accept that because it, I was driving while my license was suspended knowingly? I did have I did have a chore boy, which was a, a part of a, a crack pipe on in my person. And I was around somebody who did have drugs on them. I nobody made any promises or threats for me to make this today. Uh, this is honestly like the best I can to stand up and be an adult and take accountability for my actions. Please let Mr. me. Yes, Your Honor. I, if the court wishes to have the plea withdrawn, uh, allow him to uh, enter that plea. I have not discussed this with him. I'm here only for his bond issue. But obviously, uh, at this point, he can, I guess, do what he wishes with respect to that. If the court wishes to, uh, he obviously knows all of his responsibilities. He also knows the consequences. And there's always the possibility that you may uh, send him to jail for those violations. I don't think that I have the ability or even the authority, I'm using that word, to say he can't enter into a plea. Okay, Mr. Bradley, you'd like to enter into a plea. And all these matters want to enter into a plea of guilty. Yes, ma'am. Okay, raise your right hand. You saw me swear or from the testimony about to get this kind of be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do, Your Honor. All right, would you like an opportunity to speak to your attorney further? No, ma'am. All right, sir, as to count A, driving, a license, driving while on license, how do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor. As to count B, possession of drug paraphernalia, how do you plead? 
Guilt is charged, Your Honor. As the Lord and Judge are illegally kept, so are you. How do you plead? Guilty is charged, Your Honor. And you've gone over your advice of rights with your attorney, correct? I have. You understand that you have the right to have a trial in this matter by entering into a plea. You might have that trial. I do. You also understand that you have the right to have this matter set for a pretrial, so we don't have to enter into a plea today. I do. And you also understand the possible penalty as a result of your plea, whether in this court, any other court, or administrative agency. That is correct, Your Honor. And knowing all that, you want to continue with your plea. Correct. Nobody made me made nobody made me make any threats or promises for me to make this plea. It was one hundred percent willing of my own volitions. Okay, and there aren't any um, immigration issues I recall from the last time. And um, okay, so you're making this you're making this plea knowingly, voluntarily. Yes, ma'am. All right, and Mr. No, Goldberg, would you like me to no, I, uh, I, your plea? I was provided, Your Honor, I need to cut court off. I was provided with oh. a registration uh, registration of action, so I the action. I have the registration, so I know the dates. Uh, okay. Mr. Brownlee, on 11-30-23, were you driving without a valid driver's license? That was suspended. I was. And at, on the same date and time, were you in the possession of drug paraphernalia? Yes, sir. And what was that drug paraphernalia? It was a screen for a crack cocaine pipe. Thank you. And were you loitering in a place where drugs were kept? I was. And you were aware that those drugs were being kept there and you nevertheless loitered in that location. Is that correct? That is correct, sir. Thank you. Fence satisfied, Your Honor. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Uh, <laughs> And while you were driving without a license, you knew you did not have a driver's license. Is that correct? That is correct, sir. Then to satisfy your honor. All right, the court is also satisfied. The plea is knowing, voluntary, and factually accurate. The court will accept your plea on all counts. And counsel, are you asking for immediate sentencing or would you like me to schedule this for sentencing? Well, your honor, um, I, I guess like immediate sentencing, your honor. There you go, your honor. He would like immediate sentencing. And the court is obviously aware of the circumstances having reviewed all these matters. Okay. What the court is also aware of is that Mr. Brownlee had been sentenced in this had been sentenced in this court to jail time for his possession. I'm sorry, the resisting and obstructing an officer matter. And it looks as though the possession was. Dismissed and he was released from jail. If I recall correctly, it was about five to seven days before this incident on November 30th. Would that be correct, sir? It is, Your Honor. I'm at your, I'm at your disposal 100% for whatever you feel is uh, fair and fit for me for it to uh, get into the next step for myself. Okay. And then he, Mr. Brownlee is arrested and again with um, drug paraphernalia and uh, with, this, with two, well, two of the three individuals he was with are, were also with him at the last time that he had his um, matter with the possession and the resisting and obstructing. And so based upon that, recent conviction and jail time the and as well as mr brownlee's um criminal history this court is going to sentence mr brownlee to 93 days jail which is the maximum that this court can sentence him to may i receive the credit from the um the 30th to the point in time that I had bonded out. And we would be asking for that, Trent. Credit for that time served that he's been incarcerated. You get credit for six days, sir. 
Yes, ma'am. And Your Honor, those are 93 days on each matter to run concurrent. 93 days each count. Court will order the that it's concurrent. Thank you very much, Your Honor. May I ask one more question, Your Honor? Yes, sir. Is there any way that you would make... I'm sorry, I lost you there, Your Honor. I have no idea where... Um... Okay, you don't mind me back here. I'm on the end. Okay, I'm sorry, what was that, sir? Okay, uh, my, my question was for you, is there uh, any way that you'd be able to extend yourself in terms for, or would you allow um, a monetary exchange for the days that I would have to serve? Maybe half, uh, where I would uh, maybe get 45 days reduced if I would be able, willing to, or able to uh, pay $500, something to that effect? Absolutely not, sir, we're not bartering. Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. Yes, ma'am. Perhaps, perhaps you may want to ask for treatment while you're in custody because you weren't even out of week and you have the same type of offense. So no, there is no bartering. There is no money in exchange for not going to jail. No. And in fact, the court's suspending your fines and costs, so you don't even have to worry about that. I understand. Uh, it was just a simple question. I did not mean to disrespect you. No disrespect. Not saying anything. Thank you. So thank you, Your Honor. All right. Have a